Thursday. <laughs> Hi, how are you? It's Thankful Thursday. We love Thankful Thursday. And today it's one of our book club ones. It is. And we actually really love the book club. Actually, you know what we should start doing is telling people the book we're going to read for next month so they can join in. Oh, good idea. Mm. Good idea. Anyway, you might have this on your bookshelf if you're old enough. <laughs> <laughs> or you've come across it before. It's The Seven Habits. Yes, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen Covey. I know. in such... A great inspiration from such a long time ago, really. Oh, I know. Isn't it funny that we're saying the 1980s are a really long, long time, time ago? <laughs> <laughs> well, know, some of you might not have been born in the 1980s. <laughs> Actually, most of the people... No, no sorry. No. You never, you never, you know, I know a lot of people... I work with a lot of people who weren't born in, in the, the 80s. 80s. <laughs> um, it's interesting because... Uh, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It's one of the um, recommended must-read books, um, particularly for management. Right. Um, and so when I'm working with organizations and with individuals and teams, I say everyone needs to read The Seven Habits. It's like prescribed reading from me to my clients. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Because yeah. I'm not sure if I've actually ever read the whole book before. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. I've, I've come from an education background, and it all seems so familiar, but then there's parts of it. So maybe I read it a long time ago, but there were parts of it that were kind of brand new that I hadn't really realized. Yeah. Um, yeah, it really, it, it must have been one of the first books that really started the ethical leadership. Yes. Because it's values-based, isn't it? It is. It's incredibly values-based, and it's all about your character um, versus, and it, he's, he's quite um, clear in his book and clear in his teachings that actually the um, tips and tricks and methods for uh, making a sale and all of that stuff he was dead set against actually what you had to work on was building a great character and you did that through really understanding your values and living from those values that's right yeah. and that um, you know one of the ones was you know that people wanted their staff to work harder and and but they weren't doing it but then he, he he would then um, examine what was going on into the in the um, company, and it was often competition based. Yes, you know, if I do better than you, well, I might get the trip to Bermuda or wherever it was. Yeah. Um, and so you would go. I wasn't going to share my ideas with you or you with me because, yeah. well, I might get the trip or you might get the trip if I tell you. Exactly. Exactly. And um, and and I guess there's so many uh, ways that organisations structure themselves that work against um, collaboration and cohesion and um, bringing out the best in their people. And fundamentally, um, I work in the kind of org development, <laughs> change management and transformation side of things. Fundamentally, I believe the purpose of going to work is to become the best person that you can. Like you're right. there for so much time, like grow into your full potential. Because I'm all about Maslow's hierarchy of needs, self-actualization. is the top of that. Baby. Yeah. 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 Um, but it's interesting because I think the reason that we chose The Seven Habits as our book club book was um, The Sharp and the Saw Habit. Um, and also in his personal and self-management and time management quadrant, the quadrant that talks about resting and renewing and investing in training and investing in, in yourself. yourself. And that's um, sharpen the ho sharpen the saw is so important. Yeah, that you you know it, that and that comes from that quote about if you had six hours to chop down a tree, you should spend four of them sharpening your axe. Yes. And then just two chopping the tree down. Exactly. Isn't it? That yeah. the idea is that you have to be the best possible person mm. for whatever role you're going to take on mm. and then do whatever the role is. But you've got to spend have spent those hours. Yeah. You know, it's almost like um, the, the meditation one, you know, if something's really troubling you and you don't seem to have much time for meditation and you usually spend an hour, well, the, the guru would say to you, well, you need to spend two hours. Exactly. If you don't have time for meditation, you need to be meditating. Yeah, yeah that's right. That's right. <laughs> and, the, and the sharp and the sore piece is about you need, he's very clear, you need to have a good diet, you need to do good exercise, you need to sleep well, you need to be um, rostering in time for vacation, you need to be rostering time for training and development. Being part of your family, exactly. committing to your family just as strongly as you commit to your business. Yes, and committing to being of service in the world. And I think when you think about those values, like that speaks to our values. 
absolutely as an organization within our own organization we we value all of those things um but it also speaks to yogic values like when you take the whole kind of philosophy of yoga then it is about uh, eat well do good exercise move your body um live a holistic lifestyle be of service to other people sleep yeah, yeah. live yeah. well in the world be a you know a good citizen yes. um and you're able to then give out more, aren't you? Yes. If you do all those things looking after yourself, you're able to be more effective in the world. Yes. And that's the whole point of his book is obviously how do you be more effective versus more efficient. And and uh, the, the common thread through all of it is um, you be a good human and focus on building your relationships and stand in integrity and um, you will achieve results to 10x or 100x or 1000x versus um, someone who's just um, looking at the bottom line of the dollar all the time and that, you know, how am I going to make that next sale? Yeah. You know, and I suppose that we've really taken that on board from a little, you know, um, sidebar from us is that, you know, we love doing all this work for you yes. that you can just go to Facebook or YouTube and find all this material because we really value having you part of our community. Yes, exactly, exactly. And so, you know, we're not looking for the dollar as the bottom line. We're looking to provide you with a good service. Yep, absolutely. And build the relationship and build the connection, right? Um, of course, we're a business and we need to make money and um, and that's important. You need to be sustainable. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we're humans and we're of service and our philosophy is you give. Yeah, and, and we're seeking that connection. Yeah. That, you know, once you're part of the Yoga to Transform tribe, you might then be saying, well, you know, what else do you do? How else can we, you know, connect together? And then there's the other things that we do, you know, the courses and their coaching and, you know, one day, our one retreats. day, our retreats when, you know, out of this COVID yeah. <laughs> business. <laughs> Hopefully we'll look back at this um video you know in years to come and think oh you remember those days of COVID when we couldn't get together in person exactly yeah. but yeah so and and I think that that's a huge part of the sharp and the saw though and even Tony Robbins we're Tony Robbins um aficionados yeah groupies, <laughs> groupies <you know>? yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for September when we go to go to UPW for the second time you know like so that um we're we're they say when you're planning your year Make sure that you've planned times where you're going away. So we know we're off to Tony Robbins in September. We know we're off to um, a Koo and Rain Nissi conference in May. Right. We know that we've got those trainings for our personal development and our pre professional development. I'm um, working with a, a yoga teacher, Christine um, de Fresne. She's fabulous. Um, she's giving me mentoring. You're doing your yoga teacher, teacher training. training with my vinyasa practice, um, yeah. Michelle um, out of Austin, Texas. You know, so that we're doing those things. But I just thought as we were talking about it that, you know, we're talking about the big things, but actually it's a habit as well isn't yes, it it's how yes. we schedule and organize our lives on a day-to-day -day basis as well which is something that we talk about a lot and in, in, well especially yoga to transform sleep you know you've got to have those habits and that's what we're saying that it's every morning you take some time to do some things you might have um i can't think of the chap who talks about the hour of power but you know you yeah. might get up that bit earlier so you've got time to do some study and time to do some planning and time to do some exercise mm. before you start your day yeah and i get up um at six that i know they recommend five but six is enough for me and i do listen to you know i do my course in miracle studies and um do a meditation and all of that stuff and and do the the reading and there are moments when i'm really tired that i just think it would be so much easier if i woke up at seven <laughs> you know but actually i'm a much better person because i wake up at six and I do the reading and the meditation and the the spiritual practice. That's right, because actually you've committed to yourself. Yes. And it's really hard to commit to other people if you can't do that commitment to yourself. Yeah. So you've actually committed that time and said, no, this is important to me, mm. which is the sharp and the saw, isn't yeah, it? We've, we've got to be the best people we can be yeah. to do the best work in the world, whatever it might be. Yeah, absolutely. 
Alrighty, so we encourage you to sharpen your saw <laughs> and start thinking about how you can structure your life so that you are looking after your well-being, you are looking after your sleep, you are looking after your relationships, and you are planning in time for personal and professional development because that is where you really start looking in and transforming your own character. That's right. So we'd love to hear from you. Leave us a comment or get in touch here at yogatotransform.com. And we will be offering retreats soon, so sign up for our newsletter. Oh, that's so a good can, idea. Yeah, because yeah, then you'll get all the latest information first. And you might schedule a retreat with us. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the way to go. It wouldn't it? Namaste. Namaste. <laughs>